Hi everyone, welcome to today's podcast. I'm here with my brother or friend, Ed. Hello. Hi. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit about what it's like for us being like quote unquote siblings and how that affects like friendships and relationships and stuff like that. Not that it affects it badly, but I think it's just entertaining to talk. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? No, it's okay, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said bad, why'd you laugh? Oh, so <laughs> oh you're lying. lying. Why are you lying? <laughs> no, no, I, 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 no. The high pitched voice tells me otherwise. No, it's alright. Alright, then what have you that. got to say? No no, 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 no. We'll get to that. Okay. Continue with your YouTuber introduction. Hey, I've been doing this for like. Oh boy. <laughs> mm. Seven years? Wow. <laughs> Damn. That's depressing. <laughs> Damn. Well, I started when I was 14, so... And I'm 21. Oof. Oofed indeed. Oh boy, I need to do more with my life. <laughs> <laughs> you just finished a uni degree. Calm down. I know, how depressing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, oh boy. And I'm going into another one. Oh, anyway, this is yeah, no shit. off topic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, vaguely. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we should probably talk about like how we met for the people who don't know and for like in general. That's um, a surprisingly simple story. Mm, so do you want to do it then? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck. You put two people with memory issues in the same... Oh, what's is this a podcast? Yes. Okay. Are you sure it's a podcast? Is your face going to be in it? Because isn't it no. technically a vlog? It's not a. No, my face isn't in it. Have you seen any of the videos I've made? I mean, I know there's videos connected to them with a wavy line. That's about it. Yes. None of them have my face in it. Okay. <laughs> ah. All right. Excellent. Um, how we met? Well, we met. Mm-hmm. First, through St. John, obviously. Yeah. Um, I... What's it? I transferred to your division. Yeah. Um, from Woodville to Prospect. That's right. Yes. I forgot you were at Woodville. Yeah. Um, with our old CEO or whatever they were called. Um, Anthony. Yeah. Um, and I think Lisa was even there for a bit. Maybe. Yeah. She always floats around. Yeah. Um, what's it? Yeah, I work with someone who's from Woodville, and even she knows Lisa. And I, t- t- bruh. Um, anyway, uh, off topic. <laughs> uh, we met at St. John Prospect, and I don't, I don't necessarily know the first part, but yeah, I don't remember like how we first met. Uh, I do remember us not speaking as much. Yeah. We, like, do you know what I mean? We weren't, like, as close. Definitely nowhere near as close as we are now. Oh, certainly very <laughs> reserved in a oh, random yeah. new place. Well, because I think... With this was vaguely I... intimidating sergeant. Was I sergeant at that point? Uh, or was I corporal? Whatever you were, I'm pretty sure you were the only one that had any type of respect. Um, Was that 2014 that year? I remember. That sounds right. Yeah, I reckon it was like end of 2014, if not early 2015, because I started St. John September of 2014. Yeah, and I remember because I got there and literally the next week they're like, do you want to go on a corporal's course? I'm like, what's that? They're like, you'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> they're like, go to this camp, you'll figure it out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, what's a camp for? They're like, oh, you'll find out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't very good at telling. I don't actually nope. don't know why they made me corporal, to be honest. I was, like, not social at all. Uh, you became social enough. <laughs> yeah, but, like, at the time, you know, like you always say as a joke, like, you know, I was always the kid who read my book in the corner. <laughs> uh, upside down as well. Yes. Like, oh. you'd sit with your back to the floor. Yeah. With your legs on the wall, with your headphones on. Yeah. What a <laughs> and in time. track pants. You are the Nothing's person. Nothing's changed. No, you're <laughs> the person that taught me that track pants are an acceptable clothing option. 
You know, if that's the one thing I can teach you, then I'm solid for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Trackies are so good. Oh, they get a bad rep. That's why I own so many different pants. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to remember, like, I don't remember, like, the first interactions at all, but I know definitely, and you can correct me if you have a different version, but I think what definitely made us a lot closer was when you were becoming corporal slash sergeant. I don't know corporal, what you were yeah. becoming. Yeah. And then our super was like, oh, Jada will kind of mentor, mentor you. you. And I'm like, oh, this kid. <laughs> I'm like, great. You got stuck with the one who's annoying. And I was like, all right, let's, let's see how this, this goes. Yeah, literally. <laughs> how long do you think it took until I... I don't want to say the word therapist, but... <laughs> How long until do you think I was in that position? Because I don't know. Uh, I don't know how that started either. I remember you didn't become that for a while I because I remember not. we like we definitely had like deep conversations and stuff like that. I think yeah. just because like obviously we see each other like every Tuesday night, so that would help and. I think, I'm trying to remember, did I get you to come? Oh, I used to get you to come to some of the trainings early. So yeah. we could talk and, like, yeah. help you through some stuff. And then I would be like, right, you're teaching juniors. <laughs> Do this with me. And you're like, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds correct. Yeah, because I, think I, I remember, remember like, later, before I was politely asked to leave. <laughs> um, That's how you put it. <laughs> Yeah, um, they made you and the rest of the team like do more of the trainings and stuff like that. That was training. And I wasn't allowed to. And I was what like, trainings? Oh. The like looking after the juniors and training them and teaching the cadets. Oh. And doing that stuff. Yeah. Because I wasn't allowed to. I was told to sit and do work in the office, which was me sitting doing nothing. I was gonna say yeah, no, like I I remember that office and it was never a place of productivity. I hated that office. <laughs> <laughs> it was just uh, I don't know it was just I because I always wanted to be so organized I'd be like yep I literally was like here's the calendar for the month here's what we're doing here's da 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 and they're like cool we don't need that I'm like but I worked so hard on it they're like we don't care Jada I'm like oh damn and I remember oh when you I think as I was leaving because I didn't know who was going to come sergeant at the time so I made a big folder oh and, I still have that yeah and it was given to you which was really bizarre because I was like, why did you get it? <laughs> what do you want about? You gave it to me in person. <laughs> but I still don't know why you were getting it. Because at the time, I was like, who's becoming sergeant? And I think Lisa Leary was just like, yeah, we don't really have someone, but you can give it to Ed. And I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's like a defined reason. You can give it to Ed. They <laughs> said I was acting. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Fair enough. It was a unique place, but we definitely... Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I, I, That's a whole other podcast. <laughs> on so many different occasions did I have somebody say to me, Oh, yeah, St. John's not a place for sane people. Like, uh, we're all just really weird. Yeah. And I'd look at them like, You have a dislocated shoulder, kid. What the fuck are you talking about? I always got the whole, like, slogan of St. John isn't a place... For anything else other than making friendships through trauma. And I'm like, I'm oh, mood. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's pretty accurate. accurate. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, that makes glad. sense now. Unfortunately, it was pretty much all yours, but... <laughs> bruh. I'm sorry, golden child. Oh, no, Calm it's down. okay. Well, I'm not the golden child. The hell are, you are you kidding think? me? Are you kidding me? Yes. Did you get pulled into the office to get yelled at because, you Once know, you weren't the golden child? No. Uh... I don't know. Maybe once. Out. I think the only reason you did is because they said, please stop bullying everyone else. True. <laughs> yeah, True. this doesn't help on why we became friends. No, not really. For there's forged in fire, and then there's belittled into being friends. <laughs> that makes it sound so bad. I know. But I do, like, remember one of the times, because we had, um... I don't want to say his name because I know he listens. But um, <laughs> um, one of the guys that had a massive crush on me, and I really didn't feel comfortable. Yes. 
Yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. I remember, like, he was... Because we had comps together, like, you and I, and then he was in the room, and he made me really uncomfortable. And that was the one time you had, like, stepped in, and you were like, I'll deal with this. And, like, you, like, chatted to him until he walked away, and I'm like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really appreciate that. And you're like, eh, that was fine. I was <laughs> like, going to say, yeah, no, it's never hard to fuck with people. <laughs> like, <laughs> you want me to I'm make someone sh- be annoyed yeah. until they go away? That is my forte, like... Yeah, but I was like, I think that was the first, like, kind of friend moment in St. John where I was like, ah, well, that's hmm. nice. <laughs> He's a good person. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, and then I think after that, we just started hanging out more. I don't really know how it happened. I just mm. think it just kind of kept going. Yeah. I think especially after I left, you were like, well, I'm going to kind of go. <laughs> and then yeah, like, pretty much. I just went, yeah. yeah, I don't really, I can't be fucked. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I used the excuse of oh, I'm going into year 12, knowing damn well I was going to be a dropout. Oh, yeah. I didn't even end up a dropout. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember your excuse and I'm like, this is not going to, this is no. not true. <laughs> not I want to deal with the stress. But yeah, and then, maybe yeah, I'll we come just... back after year twelve <laughs> when you finish no. it. <laughs> it's yeah, been two years. You still haven't years. finished it, so you know. <laughs> I got my says. Oh, well, then you're fine. It's not so like I fucking that. needed it. Yeah, exactly. You're doing great without it. <laughs> still got into nursing. <laughs> I know. How depressing is that? I <laughs> suck shit. People who actually went for an ATAR and hated themselves all year. I just had fun. See, yeah, I got my ATA, but, like, I didn't hate myself, but that's why it was low. So, you know, 50 You 50. didn't hate yourself? No. It's okay, I'm just breaking things. No. Damn, I have a warped perception of those years. <laughs> well, that was a complicated year, oh, 2018. Oh, very much. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was a really weird year. Uh-huh. And then it just kept getting worse. Yep. It just went. If, if like year twelve is like pushing you off the f- edge of the cliff, they just put you right on the edge, and then the principal just hits you on the back of the head, and then you start falling. That was the years. You just went. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Vis- visualization. That's how I work. <laughs> okay, that works for me. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, after that, yes. I don't really like. <laughs> this is so all over the place. Do you remember when? We started saying, like, brother and sister. Because I know that wasn't for a while. Um, no, I, I don't. What I what I remember is, like, a lot of our deep uh, conversations were probably how that... Happened. ...started, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, I just have this image in my head of the fucking Facebook Messenger. The old... The older looking one. Yeah. Um... Of us just having deep conversations at, like, stupid times. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and it was always on voice memos. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's right. Because both of us suck at talking <laughs> in, like, text. Yes. I'm very much well known for being a shit texter. <laughs> Bruh. Just why I, I, you know, message people via, like, voice or video. And if they don't respond, that's not my problem. <laughs> Talking to this nice person who's kind of... A, that type of person does not pick up social cues, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, there have been many moments where I've said to myself, Oh, that's gonna come off like I'm being a twat. So I didn't mean... <laughs> and then has to sit there and explain it. Yeah, I'm really bad at... A lot of things. Oh, so. fooey. I'm sure you're not. Texting? Your pi- you can't disagree. Uh, yeah, but texting isn't a skill, is it? I mean, it seems to be like an athlete sport at this rate. <laughs> I can't compete at all. Oh, God. I need to stop changing phones. <laughs> Every time I change a keyboard, I get slower and slower. And now I'm just, like, crippled. Without autocorrect, <laughs> I am useless. Oh, yeah. Without <laughs> autocorrect, and then... We were just talking about this before, but if I don't answer fast enough, people get grumpy at me. <coughs> <laughs> it's, it's less so you answering fast enough, more leaving me on fucking red. 
If it helps, you're not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> well, because, like, I've cultivated good friends, so I know that if I leave them on red, they know it's not at a place of anger. They just know oh, that I'm not. forgetful. Oh, yeah, 100%. I just assumed when I was asking if you're okay, <laughs> and you leave me on red, and then send me a sad video of your car getting towed, that I'm sitting there like, well, she's gonna kill herself. <laughs> No, but hey. of course not. But <laughs> no, I would have blo- I would have just ignored you more. I wouldn't have sent a video. Proof. How dare you think so low? <laughs> oh, what if you don't live stream that? I'm gonna be very upset. What me dying? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've had this conversation. I want to be there with the gun, like. Don't... Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. But no, I wouldn't live stream it. I get demonetized, and that's not worth it. Yeah, but you're dead. Yeah. Who the fuck's gonna reap the rewards of your channel? Well, I assume, like... Well, actually, yeah, who would it fall to? <laughs> Give it to Dakota. I don't know. Yeah, actually, 100%. <laughs> yeah. She'd love it. She's always debated about starting a YouTube channel. I'm like, just do it. Yeah, lol. Yeah, I'm like, go for it. <laughs> yes. Um, Excellent. So, yeah. <laughs> how we became friends. Uh, we got forced to be, like, together. Yeah. Um, then... Uh, huh? Do you remember this? This was... Oh, this pissed me off so much. So because, oh. like, during a point in St. John, obviously, we'd become really close, and you were dating someone at the time, and so was I. You can say names if you want. Well, I didn't know if you wanted to. That, that's why I just said dating. Yeah, uh, all right. Yeah, go on. Um, yeah, so we were both dating separate people. Yes. And I remember I got pulled into the office, and my super, our super was just like, so were you and Ed a thing? Oh my cheating god! Cheating on each other, and I just—I literally like looked at her and I just went, "I think I'm gonna throw up." <laughs> I was like, "How dare you think so lowly of me and Ed? What Can't the I fuck?" Just have a friend. I'm like, I was like, hold on. My first problem was, okay, you think we're dating each other, even though that's not allowed in Saint John. Secondly, you've heard us call each other siblings. I like to Thirdly, think that and I'm like, thirdly, you. Th- you think we're that horrible of people to cheat on our partners? Uh, yeah, no shit, right? I'm like, what the fuck? No. Uh, I just remember having that conversation and I just went, what? No. I'm good. <laughs> just walked out. I'm so glad they never... Well, I mean, at one point they asked me, but like, they certainly didn't come at it with the same fucking energy as you. Yeah. As you got. Because you're the golden child. Oh no, they were just like, so what's going on with Jada? And I'm like, we're friends. <laughs> it's like, we're good. By this point, you'd already explained to me, but... You can say the name, I don't care. Huh? Oh no, by this point, you'd already explained to me that they had talked to you. Yeah. So I'm like, oh fuck, not this conversation. <laughs> Excellent. It's like, it's like getting the talk from the parents. It's like, why, why are you doing this? I didn't even fucking get one, nor did I need one, and I'm very pleased about that. Yeah. Did you? Really On which subject? I don't know. Either of the multiple. Uh... The one that does. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know. I've definitely been talked to a lot when it comes to, like, being feminine. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> no, I was gonna say involving you actually. <laughs> Sorry, what? Mm-hmm. How many um, people think you're cheating on people with me? Damn. Um, no, I just remember, like, mum was just always can't like... Can't be alone. Yeah, and she was like, you can't go to his house because remember you're dating Jared. And I'm like... No, no. I'd like to... Th- <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I'm gonna give you the eject button. Yeah, I, press I, it? I took it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're like, I jumped across the table and just hit it. <laughs> just to tap button. <laughs> yeah, that was always weird. I think just because like people always find it difficult for guys and girls to be friends, which I don't really know why. I mean, I do. Why do you? My gender sucks at having platonic friends. This is the truth. Really fucking hard. Mm. Yeah. I think this is why I struggle with being friends with guys, because I'm like, okay, am I your best friend? Am I just someone you talk to once every blue moon? 
or are you like someone I chat to every five seconds? What is the in between? What we is don't this have friend? one. First, first they establish whether you are vaguely into them and that whether they should put in that level of energy. Then they'll ghost you for two weeks completely. Then they'll send you a meme, and then and then your friends. See, I haven't gotten that. <laughs> Huh? Mine has gone like with my, you know, all yes. of like four guy friends that I have. <laughs> One is a friend of my, like my friend, their boyfriends. So I'm like, yep, boyfriends, cool. That's kind of that uh, trope yeah. done. Um, the other one is I talked to once over oh, no, like. I mean the ones that are single. Okay, we yeah we got one who we're both friends with, which I talked to once every like two years, <laughs> maybe a year. Um, the fuck is that? Tristan. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, sweet bud. Appreciate oh, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. But, like, don't talk to him that often. Um, just because he's way too busy for life itself. <laughs> um, and then you've got, like, it's complicated at the moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. It isn't, but it is. <laughs> it is in my head. It isn't anywhere else. <laughs> That's okay. So- yeah. It's complicated being friends with males, and I know it's not that simple being friends with women, so we're just a clusterfuck. It's pretty simple. Is it? Yeah, you guys love talking to us. Once you establish a friendship, a male friend is an amazing asset. (laughs) Because he doesn't think like a woman. Yeah, okay, well, okay. That's why chick friends are amazing too, because you don't Mm. think like a guy. This is where I will say I disagree with that slightly because I feel like men should just think. No. Maybe ever. I was going to say, yeah, just no. Yeah, because, you know, it might save them a world of pain and frustration. No, we don't do that. Yeah, I know. It's depressing. <laughs> well, I guess that kind of leads on to kind of like the other part. It does? Yeah. A world of pain and frustration. <laughs> yeah, what kind of what it's the like. question? <laughs> Which is like what it's like for us to kind of hold on. Let a me world of that. pain and frustration. <laughs> what it's like for us to what? <laughs> I need to rephrase that question. <laughs> I could see it, like the words in my brain. I'm like, oh nope, god, yes, that's gonna come out incorrectly. Can't put it in all. Oh. No, like what it's like for us separately to be dating other people. Okay. See where that could have gone wrong. Yes. Mm, yeah. Yeah, and then, like, obviously what's, like, for, like, partners or, like, even love interests to find out that we're kind of siblings. Because we're not actually I have to. I, I have to tread so fucking lightly. Yeah, because you would experience this more than I do because I'm awkward with dating and I've only dated, like, one person. Whereas, like, you've dated more than one, so. Yeah. Um, Me being polite. <laughs> look, I mean, luckily, um, the kind of, like, first person well casey right yeah like love her yes um we you and i uh were becoming better friends during the start of that of my relationship with her yeah that's correct so she kind of got a play-by-play of how it was going to a degree so she understood and she's a very understanding person so she didn't have any problem assimilating um uh, in, into that kind of situation. Um, yeah. And I, I never heard anything about it. Yeah, and I remember, like, even, like, kind of after um, that happened, like, yeah. I know, because, like, our friend Caitlin is good friends with her, mm-hmm. and she'd said something about me, like, I think asking if it was weird, like, for us being kind of like the sibling role. She's like, no, I always knew they were, like, siblings, and it was great. So it was still yeah. nice to kind of, like, hear that i guess get that reinforcement kind of thing yeah oh i totally get that i'm like oh that's nice (laughs) (laughs) nice little appreciation um and then with the more recent ones it's it's a it's a little complicated because jumping whatever i i find it almost a red flag when a girl has a guy best friend um yeah and you kind of from a guy's point of view, it's you have to gauge the relationship before they became best friends. 
Um, yeah, to kind of see where it's based off of, in a way. Exactly, because unfortunately a lot of us, um, for a lot of us, we end up finding that, oh, it's an ex-boyfriend that you still talk to and are best friends with and see every week. So that's a big concern for us, right? Yeah. Um, and that diminishes over time, of course. Um, but... A lot of the time, well, no, it's not always that, of course. Some people do just have guy best friends. Fair enough. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> like us. <laughs> if you have to explain to, or, it'll be very similar to the problem I have, um, where explaining to someone new, hey, this is my brother, or hey, this is my sister, and then whenever you tread onto the, oh yeah, his dad, or her dad or their parents do this and then yeah. they kind of you have to think to yourself okay now if i say this sentence they will immediately know something odd is is about how mm -hmm. do i make it not weird because oh yeah the other day i was um what's it gonna say about your dad and D, &D right because um the girl i'm talking to at the moment um kind of wants to get into D, D, but she's only like her friends have only agreed as long as she dms oh, she's never thing. played and i said oh. oh yeah no don't fucking do that <laughs> um my sister I'll say if she wants i'm happy to like help her out my she sister needs. wrote a massive <laughs> thing for uni uh, basically about how to start out in D. &D. Yeah. funny story um and she kind of got failed on that but <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, I'm so pissed at that. Oh still. my god, 100. Oh. I explained why, and she thinks it's bullshit too. Yeah, um, I, I literally showed it to other like uni professors. I showed it to yes. other teachers. They're like, you should have failed. No, like, you know why I failed? Because I'm a woman. <laughs> oh, and I was I was gonna tell her that. Oh yeah, your dad like knew like either one of the founders or one of the original writers for the books, yeah. right? And then I had to say to myself, no. No, I can't say that because I don't feel like already trying to have this conversation over text yeah. with somebody explaining who you are. Um, it's... Yeah. No, yeah. I definitely get you on that. I mean, even with one of your past relationships, I definitely caught myself a lot trying to not say anything. Yeah, totally. Or as soon as I would say something, they would kind of get defensive and mm. i'm like Ugh. yeah okay i just stopped talking it can be, <laughs> it can be a difficult line to walk because as soon as the person has a partner you mm. have to restrict some of the things you do or say um and stay as far away from uh comments like almost comments that tell them that you know more than they yeah. do. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, very easy uh, way to put them in a hard spot on accident. Um, yeah. Because I remember, like, I was having a conversation with one of them, and they had said something, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I I, like, I knew that. And they're like, well, how did you know that? And I'm like, oh, you know. <laughs> he told me. <laughs> I'm like, we chat. Like, it wasn't anything serious. It was just something, like, random yeah but i was like oh yeah you know i have talked to him <laughs> before I'm, like i've had this conversation <laughs> like you know i've spoken to the male <laughs> and she like i remember the immediate reaction was like yeah but you don't know this side of him oh, i'm like i'm a boy i'm yeah. like this man is not like a dice he yeah, doesn't have shit. 500 sides he has like two on oh like, god i i that there's like three there's um has uh, has consumed some amount of alcohol or mm -hmm. some intoxicating substance. Uh, then there's horny boy. <laughs> yeah. Then there's just normal. <laughs> yeah, like I like to say there's kind of two sides of you and then you flip a switch and then the other two sides, like Up the here. two sides that you can really see light up mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, that's a different version. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, there's you with you guys you with like i'm basically a fucking poser at this point like <laughs> well i mean the definition not... of a poser is someone who assimilates to the situation to blend in that's I mean, not... fucking me 
True, but not also to call you out. But I remember when you were younger, again, I couldn't say these things, but I remember when you were younger, you used to read books on, like, how to be a particular way with I people. I still like, have those books and still read them to this day on how to I mean. win people over in conversations. Like Yeah, which is why you would change a part of your personality to fit the person. Yes. Or maybe not change, but you would kind of, like... Mimic. I would say... This sounds really weird, but, like, imagine... Okay, hear me out for a second. Go on. <laughs> Imagine your personality like a soundboard. Okay. You have all the different like things to move around, all the different toggles. Yeah. Depending on the person, you would just move the scales around yeah, to totally. kind of fit the personality. I feel like that's you. You are just a soundboard. Yeah, I mean, like, I, one of the most critical and easy ways to build a rapport with someone is to demonstrate similar behaviors to them. Yeah. Like... If somebody else is getting annoyed over something, like a, a very an easy example is someone being annoyed over something, so you make a comment to them about the same thing, like Jesus, this line's taking forever. Yeah, right. Like what the fuck? That person's now already got a binder to you on you both being annoyed. Yeah, that's like it's the common it's, grounds there. Yes, it's it's an entry level, but it's an establishing fact that you two are similar yeah um how did we get on this <laughs> <laughs> we oh yes that. yeah um <laughs> kind of like yeah the difficulties <laughs> um honestly other than trying to get past that stage of this person has known me considerably longer yeah th that you can view them as a threat if you like but you're not going to stick around if you do like Mm -hmm. Um, aside from trying to overcome those things, as long as they get to know either one of us, whoever the sibling is. Yeah. Um, generally I find it goes well. I've yeah, not found like, that it went poorly. I mean, I haven't really found times that it's gone poorly either. Like, it's been pretty good, especially with, like, because I'm going to include, like, in friends and yeah. stuff like that. A lot of the times I'm just like... I do the introduction, I'm like, okay. And, you know, this is Ed, he's my brother. Not related, but, like, act, you know, uh -huh. Ed. <laughs> you do the whole spiel, you're like, hold on, take a deep breath. Not by blood, not legally, not nothing. We're just nope. really good platonic best friends. I just chose for him to be my brother. If he pisses me off, we'll see if that disappears. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll find out. We've had this conversation. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I, I know with friends, like, I really haven't had any issues. No. Most of the time, they're like, oh, that's actually really cool. Right. I'm like, yeah, it is kind of cool. <laughs> and then, like, with me, with, like, relationship, it's only been, like, I've had it used against me a couple of times. Oh. And that was pissed me off. But I knew it came from a place of, like, I guess, I'm trying to think of the word. I guess not, like, having Hurtful. any friends and, like, for uh. them, they were using like kind of bad things on themselves to push it on to me and I'm like okay. that's not gonna work but I good job <laughs> okay good luck like I remember a couple of times like if I was like really panicky or stressed and I was trying to talk to my partner uh, and they're like they why don't you just call Ed mm -hmm. yeah they're like just call him because he's your support person and I'm like <laughs> yeah but I'm fucking talking to you aren't I so sure, sure. <laughs> like, I'm trying to have communication with you bud <laughs> and he's like yeah just talk to like Ed or Aaron because you know they actually, you know, care about your, like, uh, mental health more. And I'm like, oh, Did, did okay. they ever actually put it that way? Or did they yeah. try and put it in a, they are better at dealing with this than I am? Um, they literally said they are I know I've done that to you before. <laughs> oh, I know. No, they literally said, like, they are your support people. Uh, Why don't you just call them? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Certainly. Um, glad that's gone and burned. Oh, yeah, that's gone and um, massive and... Kind of destroyed, <laughs> burned alive. But like, oh, yeah. that's why I thought it was interesting. Kind of the whole like, oh, like they could see the more support side. They never thought like they never thought of cheating or anything like that. No, they never nothing oh, like I'm, that. I'm it was pleased just, to hear that. Yeah, it was just always like, oh, like he seems to kind of understand you more in like a mental kind of space. I guess hmm. talk to him more than me. Okay. So I think it was also he just couldn't understand what a mental anything was mm. <laughs> so that also didn't have that kind of mindset God, maybe no. no i don't think he knew what the word mental meant <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like that's why i think it's been very fortunate for us kind of 
we haven't really had that many issues and if we have they're pretty easy solved oh yeah no totally i yeah. i think i can pr I pretty confidently say i can count them on one hand yeah i don't think we've had more than five. Oh, definitely i think not. we've had like three yeah i was thinking like two yeah maybe. i know we've had two in like the most recent like year oh uh, i would guess i was counting that as like one because i was like that's we can call one. it one if you like well, it's up to you. I was thinking, like, person-wise. Oh, so, I mean... That's why I was, like, two, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless there's one I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, sorry. So I, like, accidentally... Uh, I was gonna say killed, and then was trying to think of a pet, and then I went, fuck. No. Um, Good I was like, did you ever have fish? <laughs> y yes. I killed your fish. I had four for like 14 years. <laughs> Why did I just do that? Sorry. Um, no, sorry. I'm, pl I'm yeah. currently tinkering with an outlet right now, trying to disable a little LED that's inside of it. And I just, I had an urge to stick my tweezers inside both the positive and negative terminal and went, oh, I'm glad this is unplugged. <laughs> ah. This is why I'm constantly stressed about you. What? what? Don't be stressed about me. Do you not hear the sentence you just said? Yeah, but it's unplugged. Yeah, but if it wasn't, because knowing you, you would do that. Maybe. Mm. Yes, you're definitely the most stressful one out of the siblings. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. I, ch I, I talk whenever I'm distressed. Okay. <laughs> I'm not necessarily meaning today. I All was right. fine. Okay, good. I believe you. I didn't pull. I didn't pull a no lies on you. True, but I'm also those types of people where like I know the difference between me needing my own time know. and space to kind of let my brain be a fucking mess. Totally. And when I'm actually like getting really depressed, well, it kind of rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and then getting really depressed and then being like, okay, maybe I do need to like talk, communicate with someone. Okay. No, I mean, look, fair enough. Out of the two of us, I am the far more adept, like the, the more novice out of the two of us when it comes to uh, dealing with, uh, what's, what's a, what's a word for that? I don't know what you're trying to say, so... Extreme emotions. Uh, well... I, As I've I not say, experienced many. I would say for other people you're good, just not yourself. Totally. <laughs> you, sit, you sit me on a bridge with a suicidal <laughs> person, and I will have the time of my life. Um, yeah. That but was the I worst way to put that. Um... But like, you're good at communicating with people because you've yeah. That's when your empath shines the most. Oh god! Yeah. When it comes to yourself, you have no idea. Oh no! I will overthink myself into a hole and then smoke like incapacitate a rhino. Like. <laughs> yes. Or if it happens when I'm around, I will just communicate with you. You won't listen to me. Go to the boys. They'll tell you the exact same thing, and you'll listen to them. Not actually true. When I'm sad, I generally don't tell the boys. I have only told the boys. Um, when Casey and I broke up, yeah, that was, well, was the one that time. Um, it was a couple of days later. Yeah. Um, it was about three days later, I think. Um, so we all like I don't know, like ten of us, all went out to like St Kilda. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, this was also days after I broke my toe. <laughs> you broke your toe. November fourteenth, twenty nineteen. I think, or 2021, I'm not sure. Um, one of those two years. was last year? I don't know. <laughs> I think you mean 2020, maybe. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> fuck, it's 2022. Yeah, um, I'm going to be old. <laughs> it's mid-January as well. Yeah, I know. That's, that's fucked. Um, screw time, man. Um, time is soup. But yeah, no, that was the one time where I was kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna need my bros back, please. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. At that time, that I mean, there's a very specific reason for that. Um, yeah. 
Had it twist. Do I want to have that conversation on recording? No, you don't have to. <laughs> uh, I was more focused on my partner than having close friends at the time. Yeah. Um. So when that broke down, it was an oh god, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> yeah, like bros. I, I want you back. <laughs> Please. Not not like I'd ever done anything like rude or. Yeah. Tried to get rid of them. I just no. I think, yeah, it just kind of is one of those things where you kind of get a bit more distant. You're like, wait, no, come back. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, something that impressed me about that partner was their ability to have their most best friend and and, and not need to talk to them for like six months yeah. and then jump straight back into it as if they'd not talked in six minutes. Yeah, and I think some friendships are just built like that. Yeah, totally. Um, it's impressive, at least certainly from my point of view um <laughs> i'm not i'm gonna accidentally call myself needy so i'm gonna not do that <laughs> accidentally well you are needy are you kidding me yeah if i see someone start typing my anxiety like spikes <laughs> oh, i know it's funny it is not funny i never know if someone's about to flip out at me you know who <laughs> i got that that fucking behavior from <laughs> yeah that's so funny no it isn't i mean it's really interesting to me they're like how we can pick up behaviors like, from other people behaviors and minor traits from people oh god yes especially the ones we don't fucking want oh yeah and it's usually the ones we don't want we don't pick up the better ones yeah there's a lot of like traits i've noticed later where i'm like oh god why do I do this? Oh wait, that's why I do yeah. it. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, yeah, I have a couple where I've stopped most of them oh. because I've just noticed over time. But it was like, oh, I'm doing this to protect myself. Let's not do that. Let's fix that. Let's try. Let's and not alter need that. to do that. <laughs> yeah, like I shouldn't need to. Um, there's still like one or two I do, but like I'm kind of just morphing them into my own instead of it being like a protect mechanism. So you know. Win win question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the end, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not saying I'm one of those on here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think actually I would tell you to be honest. What? Because <laughs> are we going back to this stupid? I'm gonna like think less of you. No, Good. let's just say my reaction. <laughs> this is gonna sound really bad. Remember when we were in the car Do you on have the way this to our not off. On recording. No, I'll, I'll say this as well. Remember when we were in the car on the way to our hangout, yes. like the recent one, yes. and I had the mask like on my leg? Yes. And you were like, oh, I'll just grab it because it was falling, and my reaction was really quick. Yes, I'm familiar. Yeah, that's like part A. <laughs> yeah. There's another part which I'm not going to say on here. Well, it's all right. I'm but familiar that's with I'm the like... type of actions that spawn those reflexes. Yeah, but I've also just been really quick with, like, defending myself in general. Okay. That's just been, like, a thing I've always had to do. Because right. when you've got younger cousins who want to beat the shit out of you all the time. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> your innate reaction is protect. I hear noises. Immediately, like, where's it from? Bro, a, a partner accidentally awakened my fucking quick uh, reflexes because a mate of mine used to, like, beat the shit out of me. Yeah. I mean, not, like, actually, but he used to, like, punch me randomly, right? So yeah. whenever this person would like kind of give me like a, po a like a coy a little coy like girlfriend like jab, yeah, fucking fly kicker and all what? No, <laughs> of course not. But um, fucking like slow motion three sixty just <laughs> yeah. And then they'd be like, "Oh my, why why did you react that way? Do I like scare you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, def no." <laughs> it's like no, it's not you. It's not you. It's me. It's just. <laughs> Oh mm. god, it's not you, it's me is like the most amazing thing to say to people. Oh. I love saying it as a joke, but I would never say it to an actual person. Like, that I actually mean it to. Oh, I, I did. Like, uh. <laughs> 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 actually, did I text it? Or did it? Um. I, I texted something similar. I reckon we're talking about the same person that we texted uh -huh. it to. Uh, oh but god, I, you did, didn't you? Yeah, I said it a bit differently though. Uh Instead, I said, like, it's not you, it's n not them. Uh, what did I say? Oh, I said, like, I'm not choosing you, I'm not choosing you, Ed, or I'm choosing myself. So it's like a, a fancy way of saying, it's not you, it's not you. 
it's kind of do- not me either, but yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's playing the I do I I need some me time card. That's literally the I said this a year ago to someone else card, and I'm gonna copy and paste the same. Card. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally like a year to the day that I did that to my ex, and oh, I was God. laughing. I'm like, wow, this day must be just good for me to get rid of people. <laughs> Oh, God, if in those situations I had the hindsight to reflect, like... You had the hindsight. No, 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 no. I know. There's a part that I think I missed. Which part was this? (laughs) Detecting I was burnt out. I'm familiar with the fact that I was, right? That I didn't let it influence me enough. Yeah. Like... I didn't actually think what would happen if that went away. The burnout itself. Yeah. What would happen if I went back to optimal performance? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, if your CPU was running it. (laughs) It, it, mm. I'm not going to say that on recording, actually. Take that back. Um, Don't say (laughs) ill. Actually, yes, say ill. (laughs) If it's what you're assuming, it's probably true, and I'm not proud to say that. I don't know because my brain like, doesn't have anything, so I'm just gonna leave that. Um, but I was gonna say, like, one of the cool things that, in a weird way, we've both picked up is the fact that we kind of have like sibling instincts. We can tell when, like, you tend to know really well, which frustrates the shit out of me when I'm upset. I already knew you were having a bad day when I woke up. <laughs> But that's my thing, though. Like, I could literally say nothing, post nothing, do nothing, yep. and you're just like, hey, I can tell you're upset. And I'm like, <laughs> What's going what on? <laughs> Every damn time, you're always like, hey, sis, you okay? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm angry now. <laughs> or like, I'll just like sit next to you, and I'll do like one thing, and you're like, why are the you fuck's angry? up? Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Whereas like, I tend to notice with you, like, when you're hiding something, or mm. kind of when you're trying to say something in a very polite way, and I'm like, mm, mm. mm-hmm, sure. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Which I think, like, I was going to connect back with the part when you were saying you were, like, burnt out. That was the first thing I noticed. And I was like, that's when I went to, like, the other girls, like, Kaylin and Dakota. I'm like, I don't know if it? I'm crazy. I don't know what's going on. Does he look more burnt out than normal? Yeah. And, like, and at the time, I think they were like, oh, he seems a bit off. And I'm like, Something's wrong. I can't pick it. Something's wrong. I, I just... Something's wrong with him. And I'm like, my sister alarm is going <laughs> off and I can't pick it. And they're like, oh, God, well, maybe if... he's just tired like that hangout. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. If no one had pointed it out, I don't think I would be in the situation I'm currently in. Yeah. I, I genuinely would not have acted on it. Would not have yeah. initiated this. And I remember like, because I kept pointing it out to you on a couple of times. Mm. And I felt really bad afterwards because I was like, mm, whoops. What? Did, <laughs> but, did it feel like meddling? Is that what you mean? Or I think it felt bad because I was told later that that was like one of the reasons or one of the main reasons you guys had broken up. And I'm like, oh, that was my fault. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't. It was, yeah. it was less so that just you had pointed it out. Yeah. It was the fact that it actually became a consensus yeah, among it... multiple groups. Like, it wasn't even just yours. Like, my family oh, yeah. noticed. Yeah. I was a bit like, ah. <laughs> yeah, and like... Shit. Granted, I had to ask, even... though. Well, yeah, but like, not even, like, my friends noticed, like... Even friends that I just talked to briefly, hmm. they were noticing or like were picking things up. And I'm like, okay, I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was like chatting to one of our friends, Baker, and I was like, yo, does this sound normal or am I gone insane? And even she was like, what the fuck? No, like that's not good. And I'm like, okay, cool. Wait, I was literally was like, <laughs> yeah. Baker doesn't know me well. And that's what I'm saying. Baker doesn't know you at all. And even she was like, yeah, nah, he sounds burnt out. I'm like, he sounds miserable, and I'm like, I, I was like, look, I could possibly be playing an upper touch, but like, I'm pretty, to my own horn, I'm kind of genuine when it comes to like saying how people are and they're like how they're acting and stuff like that. Like, I don't play stuff up for fun, a lot of the times, um, especially when I'm being serious in the situation. Yeah. 
And so that's why when I was telling people and they were kind of being like, oh, that looks weird. Or like, I've noticed that too. I'm like, okay. It's, it's more than just, you know, the like friendship group. Cause like maybe I've influenced them or whatever. So I'm like, that's kind mm. of nice to know. But yeah, I've definitely noticed we tend to have like, not like the spidey senses, but just like the sibling <laughs> instincts. <laughs> right, I've got fucking spidey senses for when people are wearing pants. Like <laughs> that I, is the weirdest thing. I used to have. message this one girl, Holly, and be like, put on pants. And she would have no idea how I knew. Neither did I. <laughs> That is creepy. She'd either be wearing anything that wasn't pants. Not necessarily nothing. Hopefully, hope to God, it was never nothing. But she, it would always be like skirt or like leggings. Yeah. Leggings or pants? No, they're not. Yes, they are. No. What? They're not pants. What do you mean they're not, they're not pants? pants? Leggings are pants. I don't think they're pants. All right, fine. Then she was probably what wearing nothing and that's more concerning. What do you think leggings are? Uh, guessing that somebody who's... Nope. What do you think leggings are? <laughs> yeah, what do you think leggings are? I don't know. Not pants. What, you think they're just like... I don't know, they once they once said, yeah, I'm wearing leggings, the fuck did you know? And I'm like, okay. Okay, I literally looked it up. Leggings do in fact count as pants uh... as long, as long, as they are not opaque enough that you do not see their underwear. If I saw this person's underwear, I would be in prison. So, <laughs> glad to know I didn't. I think that's weird that that's the definition of it being pants or not. Whose definition is... <sighs> I guess because then they would technically count as tights. Stop. Yeah. If they were see-through enough. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like tights. Maybe they'll wear uh, tights. I don't fucking know. Uh, tights are no. No, thank you. <laughs> I've worn them enough where I'm like, I'm good. I've worn them. No, thank you. That's it. <laughs> Don't need to wear them ever again. Wait, why have you worn them? No, I meant you. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, man, I wear tights. I mean, that's fine if you do, but I want to know why. <laughs> drag. <laughs> I would see your drag show. That would be fun. No. <laughs> why not? I, I wouldn't be in one. <laughs> What, what, what would your drag queen name be? That'd be fun. Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> like the movies? No, or like no the, because like everybody, pony. everybody who messages me on a fucking dating app leads with some shit to do with Twilight. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, just dress up as Bella. Yeah. <laughs> That's your drag queen. Yeah. <laughs> but like... Honestly, if you did like a drag queen show, A, I would come see, and B, I'd be like, yo, I'll be a drag king. I'll do it with you. It'll be fun as. <laughs> Why not? Something stupid. Yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, funny. Yeah. What? What do you mean, yeah, yeah? No, no, no. I'm so, yeah. I support you. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying you don't. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> this is the weirdest Damn, interaction not... I've had with you in a minute. Oh, he's calling. Um... <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I think that's enough for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's only been 54 minutes. Or did you want to add anything to the Did you have what more like? questions? I don't know. It was just talking about what it's like to be brothers and sisters ah. when you're not actually, but like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I remember! Oh boy. So, at the, before the, we started recording, right? Yeah. I mentioned that thing to you about how to how to put something the least misogynistic way possible. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So, a lot of guys have been alerted to the fact that what we desire, right, is... <laughs> No, don't make it that sounds, face. It sounds creepy when you no, say it like that. No, it doesn't. What? Um, what we on. desire as guys is... Why did your light just... I'm sorry, I was... Okay. Just continue. What we desire is unconditional love. Ah, oh, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, or at least what we perceive to be the level of unconditional love that females have. Yeah. No. That they obtain. Um, because we, the way we perceive it is we generally 
do not get loved the same way. Yeah. Right? Um, it's very hard to come by for men, generally, as, especially before marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, to be treated the way that we perceive, because I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm correct. I don't know if I'm correct. It could just be my gender bias. I happily accept that. Yeah. That we perceive women to be treated. And I think this generally kind of spawns out of... uh, We don't grow up being told that we look pretty or beautiful or anything like that. Because, I mean, granted, it wouldn't really make a ton of sense. (laughs) At least in the way that, you know, our societies have cultivated that aspect. Um, And that... That a, a, a child like that does not necessarily need to be useful to be loved, right? Um, yeah. And that's kind of where my whole gender freaked out um, because um, we spend a lot of time questioning whether... Um, hang on. What's it? So, uh, so, someone said that the, the the easiest way to make a man fall in love with you, like a hundred percent, is to treat him like a dog, like a dog you really a lot you love, right? Yeah. Feed him, give him pats, rub his back, uh, let him sleep with like his head on you, right? We are yeah. conditioned to think. Our ability to be loved and valued stems solely from our usefulness and our utility and the services we can provide. Now, I, I, yeah. I spent a moment trying to think of a good enough example. Um, it's surprisingly difficult. Um, oh, I thought of one. Is it cooking? Well, I was thinking in the sense of like going back to like traditional... 1950s style like you know yeah. men would be loved more depending on the job levels they have and kind oh. of how much money they would bring in yeah do you know what i mean because like the more money they bring in it's like ooh, isn't he more handsome because he's a millionaire <laughs> it's like, he could no, be I a think, dick it's like yeah but he's got money i think that's called being a money bunny like <laughs> money bunny. um but like no like i mean my family extended family is quite traditional mm. and so even they're like, well, you know, if you're making the millions, then, you know, keep them type of thing. Yeah. And it's like, but he's an asshole. It's like, no, 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 no. He, he make bank, though. Like, you could just pay for it to be changed. It's okay. You know? <laughs> so it's like money kind of depicts... Because money is almost associated with happiness. So people tend to gravitate to, like, money and worth more to that. And I think men get stuck with that a lot more than women do. Yes. Yes. Um, pretty, pretty much. And... I don't know if it makes it harder for men my age or around my age group, because I know this is generally a problem for people who are below their 40s and in their 30s and their 20s, because the way that they look at their partners is they go into it without a prejudice towards how useful that partner is. Like... We can we will go into relationships with somebody who has no job, has minimal yeah. skills, who can't cook, who can't drive, can't any of that because it doesn't factor for us. But well, generally, but yeah, the way like, we perceive ourselves is the reverse of that. Um, yeah, I get that a hundred percent. Like we we have to be careful to cultivate ourselves in a way that we know a partner will be loved and then we have to sorry I smacked my mic slightly um you're right and then try and hold up a facade of being useful and when we stop being useful we get smacked with bullshit and all we want is what we think is to be loved in the same way they love other people yeah i will say that i think a little bit of that mindset I know I've definitely experienced that. And to clarify, because most people think this, I'm not a male. <laughs> I don't understand why people think you're male, man. 
I don't know, man. Maybe it's just because my charming looks. Who knows? Oh, like, yeah, I dude. don't know. <laughs> you know me and the boys hanging out. I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> but like, concern <laughs> rising. <laughs> you know, me and all the boys. No. <laughs> it, it's back out. <laughs> you know, I mean, I was going to say, Caitlin's like the manliest person I know. <laughs> Oh my god, I love you. Um, that's so funny. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, like, I've definitely had that experience where I was, like, you know, yeah, part of the relationship, and at the beginning, like, I didn't have a car, didn't have a license, didn't have a job, like, nothing like that, because I was high school kid, so I was pri- prioritizing my education. But through all of that, I was still like, well, he's working a full, like, what full-time hours. What offer? Yeah, I'm not doing enough. Or, like, even at the point where, you know, I was doing St. John, like, I think it was three times a week mm. at that rate. I was doing dog training, school. I was doing, I had a job, which was once a week. That still wasn't enough because they had a full-time, like, hourly job. Yeah. And they would always say, well, I'm tired because I'm doing this. Yeah. Whereas you're not doing enough. Yeah. And I'm like... First off, toxic behavior right there, but... <laughs> This, this isn't that podcast. No, but that's what I mean. Like, even after, like, all of that, my brain was still going, I'm not doing enough hmm. to match them or I'm not doing enough to support them or help them or be in that relationship. I'm not doing enough. Okay. And so I think while typically that is, I would assume, a male mindset, I think either I think like, or I thought like that because it was pushed on to me slightly or... Just because that's kind of how it developed. But I didn't have that before going into the relationship. Mm. So I guess it's kind of dependent in the situation. Excellent. Um, now, to jump back to... Uh, my... Uh, what... what what's it, The main like point? A, what, what's it called? Like, the, the, back, the behind the scenes, like, moral of the story. Yeah, you could Fuck just say it. the moral of the story. The moral of the story is... Yeah. <laughs> Um, as I'm not your born sibling, right? mm-hmm. not blood, not legally, just platonic best friends. Yeah. That's the way I describe it to people. <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, it is, ref- it is nice to know that it exists to be loved that way. Yeah. Like... The fact that we've... I've done enough dumb shit, as I've told you in my last little letter, that Mm. I've probably done enough dumb shit to make you annoyed enough to lose a lesser friend. Yeah. Um, And the fact that it continuously proves to bounce back to the same or greater point... In, like, relationship strength. It's just really nice. (laughs) (laughs) It's nice. (laughs) Well, yeah. I think because a lot of those times, like... Again, like, nothing you do is, like, detrimental either. Like, you'd say dumb shit. But my brain also just goes, Well, that's my little brother being stupid. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if you... That. That. Yeah. Because the fact that I sit in that position makes it unconditional yeah because like you know i remember like once like you had said something you can expose and I turned... me if you like it's okay no, no, no it was just i think you just said something really dumb and i'm like wow look at ed saying something dumb and my friends were like dude what and i'm like eh, little brothers and they're like <laughs> <laughs> okay jada and i'm like you know like that's just kind of how it is like yes you've definitely said some stuff and you know i've pulled back a second and then gone oi <laughs> Mm. what the fuck mm. <laughs> you're gonna sit down and we're gonna chat about this like mature adults mm. <laughs> before I come over and start beating your head in <laughs> not that I would <laughs> um maybe next time I miss nope <laughs> next time you start thinking that you can speak for me and then we'll have another oh, God, conversation no. <laughs> never again I'll just circle talk to work out if you're okay or not oh boy that's what I did today <laughs> Yeah, you've only done that once before, it's fine. <laughs> huh? Working out if you're okay? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, I hit up Aaron as soon as you didn't respond. I was like, 
Did you actually? Yes. <laughs> Ask her what I said. I, she hasn't spoken to me today. So I, I know. Wouldn't... I asked her, have you spoken to Jenna today? And then we had a I'm... little chat about other stuff as well. <laughs> I'm Just surprised like, how are you she... doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because she also views you like a brother as well. Mm. So... I remember, like, um, when I went to her, like, after you'd done something really stupid, and I was chatting to her, and I showed her a little bit of the messages, and she was like, oh. you know, sometimes our little brother's really dumb, huh? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. She's like, yep, yeah, brothers. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. They do be like that. <laughs> they do be real dumb. But it was just, like, dumb. funny. We are both just seeing there, like, yeah, little brothers. <laughs> But yeah, like, you know, I know that, like, I definitely, this sounds really weird, but, like, right. I kind of care more than Aaron does for you. No, I'm not trying to be, no, like, the whole... really? <laughs> <laughs> but I just mean more, like, in the sense of, I think because I've known you, obviously, a lot longer, where Aaron's like, well... You're explaining I've... friendship to me. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. The fact you've Finally. known me longer makes you care more? No, I was going to say, because, like... Erin has been my sister, hmm. quote unquote sister, for a long time. So she was just like, oh, new sibling? Yeah. Welcome. We've been expecting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> she was just immediately like, yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, this works. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there was no questions. Yeah, pretty much. It's okay. It's population you and her. <laughs> That's it. Oh, God, I would not be a leader again. No, thank you. No, it's okay. <laughs> we will collectively vote and Edward will be, will be vetoed immediately because all he wants to eat is burritos. Honestly, though, Aaron and I love burritos, oh, so no. you wouldn't be vetoed. <laughs> no. That'd be fun. I think the last the last meal we had was <laughs> <With> burritos. burritos. <laughs> yeah, we got some burritos. <laughs> they just hit different, man. Like, they do. They're real nice. They do. I don't know, are. man. Yeah, it's just burritos for you. <laughs> but yes, I'd, it's definitely like cool kind of having you as a brother because a lot of the times I'll kind of ask you really dumb questions or like, I remember we've had like some conversations in the past and you're like, now Jada, when you go out, this is what you should do. <laughs> like, <laughs> be safe. And I've been like, let me know when you're at uh, someone's house. I don't know. Just let me know when you're home safe. And you're like, it's okay. I slept at someone's house. And I'm like, yeah, who's? You're like, ah. Yeah, yeah, no, I have no idea where I am, but I'm alive. Half the time you're like, either I'm at someone's house. Me. Yeah, you're like, I'm at someone's house. Or you're just like, I somehow got home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh boy. Uh, yeah. A lot of the times I'd just be stressed waiting until you tell me. And then you never told me. So I'm like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> just call me. Well, no, I'm not going to be that annoying sister. That's, that's like, are you home you're permitted. Safe? To be that annoying sister. You're the only one with that right. I do remember, though. Other people th- doing that shit would be annoying. <laughs> I remember one time you gave me, like, I was trying to find it, but text messages stopped showing after a while. Yeah. You gave me, like, a code that would make an alarm go off on your phone. Unfortunately, I killed that. <sighs> I know. I got so grumpy. I was trying to find the code because yeah. I have it still, but I'm like, oh, I disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Norton discontinued that service. Yeah. But what it was, it would read my text messages as they came in. Mm. And as long as they contained a passphrase, which you might remember, um, and then, you know, a, a key phrase. So, like, yeah. one, two, three, four, scream would make my phone ring. Yeah. Um, and a couple of, there was a bunch of other things. There was, like, tracking and there was recording and... Um, you had SOS as an option as well. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I got that once and it scared the shit out of me. Uh, I think I did that the other week on accident. Oh, oh my, my god. god, I remember the situation exactly. I yeah. was in bed with my partner having mm-hmm. some cuddle time. My bi- my phone falls between the wall and the bed. And evidently it felt like it had been clicked uh, like five times. Pressed yeah. against the wall five times rhythmically. <laughs> <laughs> and it sent me this SOS. It sent me a recording. <laughs> no, it just sent me an SMS being like... Oh no, oh, I like, tried to send a recording. I remember uh, picking up my phone and it was recording. <laughs> I just remember like, I got the text being like, SOS. And I'm like, 
what? Where? And I like, because it gave me coordinates, but I was like panicking. So I just started texting you and uh. calling you. And then you're like, oh no, it's fine. I'm like, why did I get it then? I was freaking out. And you're like, JD, you don't want to know. You know I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm like, okay. A couple of weeks ago when I was going through my phone, uh, putting f- photos in hidden albums, um, or deleting them or what have you. Mm-hmm. I, look, it's difficult to prune out shit that's through all your albums, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. Actually, no, I don't want to go through your phone. That, mm. Well, no, those are locked away. Ew. The, the, the concerning ones. That's like your whole phone. The, <laughs> the extra concerning <laughs> ones. Nah, it's okay. I was genuinely thinking I could make a lot of money off of that. No, like, making a bot that was able to go through your phone. No! (laughs) I'm not- what? Port- yeah, mate. I'm the best porn. I'm gonna be the new Johnny Sins. I- I- as soon as you said that, I'm like- Oh my god. Uh, we've had some really bizarre conversations. Oh my god, yes. I remember one was- and you- (laughs) I remember, because you weren't listening, because you were pissed off at me and your ex. Which, fair. So, <laughs> you were, like, playing video games, and I was, like, awkwardly sitting at the edge of your ca- of your bed, because I'm like, I don't want to see on this. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the running joke I have, it's great. Nah, you were and, um, Oh, there, go on. Yeah, so we were chatting, and we were chatting, like, she randomly brought up, like, my tits and stuff like that. What the hell? And then, and then you took off your Fair headphones, fun. and you were like... Oh, what are you talking about? And I was like, Ed, you, no, you're not putting into this. Oh my and you're like, God, why I not? remember this. Yeah, you're like, why not? It'd be fine. I'm like, Edward, <laughs> <laughs> you still weren't getting it. And I'm like, I literally like looked at you dead eyed. I'm like, do you want to talk about my tits? And you're like, and headphones back on. <laughs> <laughs> why, just... why did your breasts come up, Jada? I'm very concerned. Because <laughs> your ex brought it up. Why? That's what I mean. <laughs> She's brought them up a couple of times, actually, well, so I don't know. It's okay. I know, I mean, I get why. <laughs> eject button, no, not, eject not button. In a creepy way. Like, I understand why she is. Yeah. I'm gonna just do this for you. Eject. They have an envy of other women. That's eject. It. That's right, that's all I need to say. But yes, we've had some unique conversations in the past. Oh, totally. <laughs> Which I think has helped us become, like, brothers and sisters. Because I know, like, I don't have actu- any siblings. But I know with, like, um, Dakota, and she's got, like, two older brothers and two younger sisters. And with her older brothers, they chat about some weird shit. Mm. And so I'm like, ah, uh, I've had those similar conversations with Ed. <laughs> Good to know we're so similar. <laughs> Honestly, just- like, I think most of the deep uh conversations I've had with my brother... Uh, either relationships or drugs, and that's it. Fair. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty straightforward. You're the only person I really have, like, a deep conversations with. I'm trying to think if I've had it with anyone else. Uh, no. <laughs> no one really asks me, so I just don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really sad. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Asks you about what? I'll remind myself to ask. No, I just mean like you're the only person that actually asks me questions oh. that are like that spark deep conversations. No. Where everyone else is very like They probably I don't wanna say don't know if they're able or like allowed almost. Yeah, well I don't wanna say like generic questions. Oh no, but, that's like, very yeah. There's that, but also like I don't think there's ever been a time where it's like yeah, let's, like, you know, chat about something deep. I think the only time... That seems like a weird way to start a conversation. Yeah, <laughs> but I think the only time that that's, like, mildly popped up is, like, Jessie was saying, was asking me a question. She was like, but she was like, yo, can I ask you a question? I'm like, yeah, what's up? Because I thought she was just going to ask me something really generic. And she was like, why are you so happy all the time when your life is really depressing? And I'm like, oh, that's shit. That's <laughs> the way people work. I'm like, if they give out very positive vibes, they are a broken fucking person. Yeah, I just kind of looked at her and I went, huh. Mm. <laughs> Did not expect that to come out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, that's something. Can- so I was like, 
I, look, I think I said to her, because I'm like, when you when other people have so much negativity, why would you then push your own onto others? So I just emit enough positivity to so that when them. they talk, in a way, but also when people talk to me, they feel comfortable. Because mm. I want wherever space I'm in or stuff like that, I want people just to generally feel like, ah, oh, I'm in comfort. Fair and enough. A big full of sunshine. Woo. I mean, that's something I've found now that I'm dating again. Like, I know it, it, it's a, a shush. Um, I can <laughs> I see. I didn't your, say anything. I can see that face. Um, no, but it's but it's a behavior that I'm looking out for. Someone who is overly positive. Ah, so not broken people. No, no, no. Yes. Like, I'm, no, I'm looking for the behavior to avoid it. Yeah. Like, um, this one girl, um, like, incredibly positive. Like, the, like, uh, the, I think their first message they sent me had, like, three exclamation points. Oh, boy. In, like, after, hey. And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm already tired. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Um, no, but then, like, they're a very positive person, I get to know them a little more, they're, like, severely depressed, obviously have no father, which is apparently just the fucking standard, um, yeah. and, like, smoke enough to incapacitate King Kong, like, and there's tapestries everywhere, which used to be the old male red flag, now it's those leaves that hang, it's, I mean, it's people who now. have the leaves have the tapestries. Yeah, mm. we know. It's both You now. say, mm. No, as in males. We are Pretty much you just, you're just describing hipsters, but fair. Mm, no. <laughs> I like how you're just like hipsters. depressed people who try and make their room seem a bit more perky. Hipsters. <laughs> yeah. And then if you do drugs, you have a tapestry. And if you don't do drugs and you have a tapestry, you have a problem. Or it's not, like, a trippy tapestry. It's just, like, a flag because you're a Nazi or some shit. <laughs> or you have some other fascination. Communism. Trees. <laughs> Communism. Oh, yes. The two great things that combine together. Trees and capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> this is a far cry from what I said. Communism. But sure. <laughs> well, you know, you could kind of... No, it's okay. Have... <laughs> Let's just move... <laughs> Excellent. Um... Well, that was, yes, that was my very, that was my hour, sorry, that was my half hour, no, not half an hour, that was my 20 minutes of men, I love being uh, loved unconditionally, and you've shown me that actually fucking exists, which I'm very pleased for. Yes. So thank you. Yes, I have seen from multiple of my male cousins and some of their friends that just how like sad it can be especially when like it's talked about a lot online and social media how women always are putting up because i'm friends with a lot of girls we always put up like you know look after yourselves when you're you know going out to town like protect yourselves etc yep. etc et so, well, there's um, two types of get uh, two types of men who see those posts those who take it as a threat and those mm. who don't look at them because they don't have female friends and those are the ones you're defending yourselves from <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i know a couple of times like some of my friends have posted just being like you know i think the statistic was like 93 percent of women are more unlikely to have something done to them when they go out to town mm. something random like that um and my cousin he got really upset because he was like but why aren't we talking about the seven percent of men right. who have something happen to them i've been sexually assaulted yeah and i <laughs> like was trying I can to tell say you, it's not that fucking uncommon <laughs> Yeah, and I was trying to tell him, I'm like, we're not putting men down at all. We're just kind of... On purpose. Amp- I think because, like, from my point of view anyway, we're just kind of saying, like, hey, this shouldn't happen to anyone. True. <laughs> no matter your gender, no one should feel uncomfortable stepping outside of their own home. Okay. And that's just it. Like, whether you're a woman, male, in between, or none, you shouldn't have to... Like, I have this thing in my new home where it's a little alarm so basically um, anyone can take it with yeah. them yeah as it's soon one of those as little screamers like you give to your kids right whenever yeah. somebody tries to grab your kid kid fucking yanks on the little thing and now yeah. it's screaming and it's what is it the button that suppresses it or is it something else 
Or is so for you ours, you put it back yeah. in. Yeah. The button's fake. Oh, fair enough. So, and we have that hanging up. So if any of them go out late, I just say, take it with you if you want. Yeah, fair if enough. If you don't feel comfortable or if you're just feeling anxious, take it with you. It's not a, because you know we know something's going to happen. I'm not having a taser. Why not? Tasers are fun. <laughs> do I, do I go out ever? You, yes. Where? Atlantis. I have been there once yeah, there and I, go. that's, that's ever. <laughs> yes. And that was the weirdest, creepiest experience of my life. <laughs> oh, what? No, you looked so happy. Oh, it was fun. But How I many also drinks have to guys try and buy you. A couple. It was above but five, like, wasn't it? No. Yeah, it was. It, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Although I had, had one guy follow me the whole night, which creeped me out. So Shana kept death clearing them. That his fucking name was George or some shit. I don't know. He literally because like, it was some like uni thing. So I know like what degree he does and whatever, but um. He was sitting with me chatting uh, with me, Shannon and Elijah, and he was like, oh, who's single here? And I was like, oh, me, I'm the third wheel, like, you know, I'm the driver. And so he kept chatting me up and he kept, like, holding my hand and I was just like... What the fuck? I got really uncomfortable. Yeah, why'd you let him hold your hand? I didn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I was like, no, thank you. And I was like, I don't drink, like, I'm the driver. So I'm like, no alcohol, nothing. And he's like, oh, well, I can get you a soft drink. I'm like, I literally said... No, because I don't know if you're going to drug me. Uh, ooh. And he was like, oh, well, you can come up with me and watch the whole time. Like, I am happy to just pay for it and walk off. And I was like, no, I'm good. Like, I just am like, nope, do not trust. And also, like, I don't really drink soft drinks either. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, luckily, Shannon noticed. Um, and she was like, oh, let, let's just go up together. So we kind of left him. And then he was like, always two people away from us the whole time, the no matter where we went. It was so creepy. Bruh. And so I was like, I kept noticing and so did Shanna. And every time she would see him, like immediately death glare him. And he would just wouldn't do anything. He just kind of kept watching. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. All right. Creepy experiences out in town. <laughs> I'm like, that was literally five minutes of me getting there. <laughs> <laughs> and then, cause we had to like change rooms. Cause like, I think the room was closing or whatever. And I had some two other guys, which seemed like really nice to me, but Shana was like, Jada, no. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? They were nice. They were just no, trying with me. <laughs> and Shana was literally like, Jada, they're trying to get in your pants. Yeah, we I'm ain't like, nice randomly. Don't, <laughs> don't come into anything in a bar assuming we're being nice to you. No, because like, I mean, I could mildly tell, but like the way he started chatting was kind of funny. Because like, yeah, that means for people who practiced. don't know. Oh, yeah. But, like, in Atlantis, there's a giant fish tank, right? And one of them is kind of skewed, so it can look like the fish are bigger. And I was, like, next to, like, my cousin and her, and we were dancing. And the guy came up to me, and he's like, do you think the fish are normally that large? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, how are they getting it? And literally, we took, like, 20 minutes chatting about these fish. <laughs> This is the dumb interaction I had. And then he was like, oh, are you going to, like, dog and duck later? And I'm like, no, I'm good. And he's like, oh, if you do, like, come find me. And I'm like, no, thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> he was being very polite, like, walked off. But Shannon was just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> she was like, no, thank you. No, no. <laughs> so, yes, that's weird. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go to town properly, because that wasn't proper town. That was a uni function. But, like, town is scary. Yeah, I guess. Because, like, like Shanna and Jesse always want me to go with them. And every time they come back, they're like, oh, it was so shit. This happened and this guy tried to do this. I'm like, then why do you go? Yeah, I was going to say, um, actually, no. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm like, it sounds expensive. It's going to sound misogynistic is what it's going to yeah. sound like. So it's going to sound shit. misogynistic. It, but also it just sounds really expensive it too. Is. Especially for me who doesn't drink at all. And then having to pay to get in. I feel like I'm just wasting money. Yeah, you are. Um, so I'm like, what's, what's the point? Like, my scene is less clubs. I go to niche bars. Like, I go to cocktail bars. I uh, don't dance. If I go to, like... The only club I ever really went to, aside from, what's it, like, Black Bull, 
um, mm. was Downtown, which I believe is now closed. Yeah. Um, that one's pretty good. It's got an outdoor seating area that you can just kind of like chill and smoke. Um, it's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, Atlantis has that. Uh huh. Atlantis has that as well. I'm sure. I don't feel like getting raped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, like. I always end up like Hennessy or therapy or even that one I went to the other day where I got fucking, what's it, stood up on a date, right? So I was just like, ah, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, I call Meat and Wine Co. and I'm like, hey, you guys got seating for one. Maybe, no, sorry. And I'm like, well, oh, fuck, sick. My favorite steak place. No, yeah. no, no room. Um, Go to my beer, my beer garden, closed. Fuck's sake. Um, therapy, closed. Fuck's sake. Can't even talk to Charlie, my favorite bartender. Um, so I go to this random little bar, um, spend like 20 minutes talking to the bartender, which is pretty yeah. cool. Um, then get a Sazerac, drink I've not had before. It's bourbon whiskey, sometimes. Um, and uh absinthe uh with uh what's it like a lemon twist probably some angostura bitters as well um basically an old fashioned that had a a, a, a dead child a miscarriage um (laughs) but it's not it's it's really good really selling it there aren't you if you you want like i'm a lightweight are you really it doesn't mean it stops me. Yeah, but like, are you actually a lightweight? That or I'm a cheapskate. I don't know. Cheap, I understand. <laughs> no, because Light- every cocktail, no matter where you go, is uh, 18 and up. Like, dollars. But, yeah, I assumed so. Yeah. I don't know, I just... Because like, every time I've had like parties and stuff like that, I've only seen you tipsy, I've never seen you drunk. Yeah. I usually stop at that point, like, yeah. like calm you, down. You shouldn't have a couple. That's why I'm like... I don't like getting drunk. I, like... I feel like you'd be weird as a drunk person. No, I just don't enjoy life. Oh, like, are you a sad drunk? No, no, I am not a sad drunk at all. Um, ever since I... Defense. Ever since, ever since the last time I blacked out, I just went, hmm... I don't like that. I prefer either being high or sober. Fair. So I will either not drink, drink until I'm at that perfect point of happy, able to drink my drink for the rest of the night slowly, yeah. and just maintain that level of drunk. Um, so you kind of like buzzed, essentially. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, drunk, drunk enough to be able to not do a somersault which i can't already do um (laughs) but you have the thought to do it yeah not drunk enough to fall into the pool but drunk enough to jump in of my own volition gotcha yeah last time i jumped into your pool fully clothed i was not drunk enough unfortunately i don't even remember why you did it i do i lost a bet uh or like a game of never have i ever and i said to Casey, can you do you want to give me a, like a hug for luck? And she was like, yeah, sure. And she comes over and hugs me, and I fucking drag her in with me. That's right. God, that was that great. Was weird. Love doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a great night, and then we spent the rest of that shivering by a fire. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you could have had a shower, but like you know. Oh, in the hell, my clothes are still wet. But why are you having a shower and getting warm? Your clothes would have been chucked in the dryer and they would have been warm. Okay, look, I did not think about this at the time. <laughs> I did. I'm pretty sure I said, did you want to have a shower? Knowing you, you probably just went, no. Yeah, literally. I was happy no. cuddling next to the fire. being all... Always happy cuddling next to someone by the fire. Oh, 100%. I've either got my tongue down a fucking stranger's yeah. throat or... Yeah. Why, did, why is OBS lagging? That's You gross. started making those noises and OBS literally started stuttering. You know why? Because OBS agrees with me. Nah, uh, OBS <laughs> has listened to a lot worse shit and still just sat there Poor happily. OBS. <laughs> Mine is fine. Mine's just like, you know what? We don't hear much. It's okay. 
have <laughs> when it has to fucking render 4K footage at the end of my recordings and compress it down into a drive it does not want to be on. <laughs> oh yeah. The amount of times I get fucking warnings saying insufficient space recording stopped, I'm like, ah ah, write the fuck back up, you start. It's like, oh wait, I've got more. Ah oh, yes. Yes. I do have to say, though, that is, like, one thing I mildly envy you for, jumping back to, like, not... OBS hating yourself? No. It's, like, you always seem really happy when... This sounds weird. No, go on. <laughs> you always seem really happy when you're, like, cuddling someone, mm -hmm. and I'm like, ah, that must be nice. Yeah, it's the complete opposite when I'm alone. And I'm like, You understand cool, why I don't off. like being alone? <laughs> you just never like being alone, because mm -hmm. then you have to actually think about yourself for once. Oh, no, I don't do that. I'd just be sad. Yeah, but, like, you need to be sad to be able to go through everything. Because yeah. then if you don't go through stuff, then, like, how do you know? I'm not But you just don't do it. No. This is why you don't grow as a human, Ed. Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> You've been the same since I met you. The only difference is you try to grow facial hair occasionally. Okay, now, I don't have to try. Thank you very fucking much. Neither do I, but like, you know. Uh, hold on, <laughs> one of us needs to wax, the other doesn't. Is that you? Uh, no, I don't like waxing, I'm, I'm scared. Why? Uh, it fucking hurts. Oh, it doesn't. Nope, I tried waxing my nuts once, never again. <sighs> Why would you do your... Yep, no, no, fuck that. I'm straight back to shaving and hair removal cream. Why wouldn't... Uh, huh? Why wouldn't what? Ah, please. Why Why was the first reaction to try there and not on your legs or something? Uh, because I like my leg hair the way it is. It keeps me warm. You're not wearing inbuilt trackies, like... I don't know what those are, but I assume there's some kind of track pants that are special. <laughs> the girl I'm talking to has rabbits! <laughs> what? Hey, no, sure is. What do you mean, help? I nothing. Nothing. See, in other words, no. <laughs> <laughs> I promise yeah. the intention that I will try. <laughs> Okay, no. Never <laughs> promise anything. No, I, I, I've already learned this and found a way through it. Don't worry. My thing, and I stick with it for the rest of my life, promises are just lies waiting to happen. No, that's what I just said. Promise the yeah, intention to try to hold the promise. Yeah. Not that you fucking will. But that's what I mean. Like, I already know it's not going to happen. Yeah, so. it's okay. Ah, oh. but then there's another... No, fuck, I don't want to start down morality with you. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Okay. So, that book I read, Utilitarianism. Yes. Um... Is it morally just to make a promise out of desperation with no intention of keeping it? What's the situation? Um, someone is threatening your house. They, they, I'll, I'll burn your house down if you don't pay me. I promise I'll pay you, knowing damn well you will not be able to pay them. Is that morally just? That's difficult. Mm. Immanuel Kant would say any lie is bad. Yeah. John Stuart Mill would argue that if I lied in that situation, not considering the ramifications that come further down the line, just imagining the immediate sequence of events, it would probably make them happier. It would give me a little bit of ease for stress. And for the moment, the sum total happiness would increase. Because I would be less unhappy, and so would they, probably. But then consider yeah. the ramifications overall. I break that promise, the person burns my house down, and now I'm far more unhappy, and they're enraged. So the sum total happiness drops. So overall, it was a bad choice. But what's the alternative? 
Yeah, because I guess with that choice, you're giving yourself a time period in which you possibly could、mm. make it not a lie,、mm. but there's a high chance that it probably will still be a lie.、Mm. So, you know, do you want to continue to prolong the lie and make it more painful?、Mm. See, there you go. There's, there's two different. Moral philosophers' opinions: Any lie is bad, from、mm. Kant, and then will it increase the sum total happiness or be unwavering, which is utilitarianism. I think it's one of those situations where it really depends on like more details of the scene. Th- yeah, the situation、mm. overall, because if it was like you know, I, if you had to, it's difficult if, to if craft some- a perfect scene for that analogy. Yeah, like if someone was dying and they said, you know, we promise to do like whatever their last wish was,、mm. and you say like yes, and then if you don't do it, do you feel bad? What was your intention it, though? Were you yeah? Were you tasked with doing it, knowing you couldn't, you know, go to Pluto or whatever, but you promise、yeah. out of desperation to do it, which is the question posed in John Stuart Mill's book. Is that is it just to make that promise out of desperation? If the ramifications in the future in that situation wouldn't matter, if the person's last wish they're going to die before、yeah. that is seen to, then it's maybe plausible to say Mill would agree with you. But then, yeah, it's a di- yeah, it's difficult. What's、uh, uh, it? I haven't. Read Scanlon's book yet? But I' pretty sure he also holds a similar opinion to Kant, in which all lying can be bad or is bad inherently. Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree with that, though. Yes, but then white lies are a thing. True. But then consider the ramifications. A person is told white lies their whole life about how attractive they are. They finally go to shoot their shot with someone who is clearly out of their league, get shot down, and then reconsider their life choices of whether they actually are. Then have a crisis trying to work out whether they're attractive or not.、Mm. So. Yeah, I think、hmm. it depends on the level of how many you are told. Yes. I've seen that situ well, not that exact situation, but with different words being used. But I've seen that situation go down.、Mm-hmm. One person's been told something their entire lives, and then twenty-ish years later, they realise that that is not true, and their world crumbles around them. And now they're trying to put the pieces back together. And it's like, well, what was the correct choice? Is this you or someone else? Someone else.、Okay. It's not me, I promise. <laughs> okay, I know your problems are different to that. <laughs> you make it sound like I have issues. I'm fine. Oh yeah, everybody with a podcast is fine. <laughs> that face. What? <laughs> no one with a podcast is fine. Why? What? Why is that? Name one person you think is normal who has a podcast. Uh, I mean, technically, Philip DeFranco、uh, has a podcast. Fuck, you picked the person I don't know. <laughs> How do you not know Philip DeFranco? Who's Philip DeFranco? He does the new show every day on YouTube. He has a the new podcast show on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I bet he was in fucking YouTube Rewind, wasn't he? Yes.、Hell. He's in it all the time. YouTube's he has most a pod- dislike video ever. Oh no, sorry. He has、eight. a. He has a podcast called "A Conversation with." Basically, he has conversations with different people talking about their lives and stuff like that, and it's a really good podcast. Philip、mm-hmm. DeFranco. Franco. The DeFranco Show. It's really good.、Uh, yeah, no, I've never seen that guy before. I reckon you'd actually like his content. Um, but yeah, he runs podcasts. I would say he just exposed Bell. What the hell? This guy's <laughs> starting off poorly. The podcasts are really good.、Okay. Matthew Mercer was on there.、Um, you tell me this guy wasn't depressed as a kid. He looks like、oh, he no. was depressed as a kid. He does have issues. <laughs> His literal merchandise is emotion- emotionally exhausted. Oh, okay. So he does have it. 
My point stands. <laughs> but he doesn't have issues. Yeah, He's just like a tired dad. That sounds like issues. What? Okay, what about um, Zane and Heath Unfiltered? I don't know who they are. Isn't Zane from One Direction? No. Uh, That's Zac Efron, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm pretty sure there was a Zane, wasn't there? Yes, yeah. his name was Zane, not Zac Efron. Zane Efron? Are you shitting me? No. Yeah, Zane, yeah. Wait, okay, Zac Zane Efron and Heath. Then? Oh my god. Zac Efron was in High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. He was Troy Bolton. He was in... Um, any of that was. What? I haven't seen High School Musical. Uh, 17 again. Oh. Um, fuck. What else has he been in? 17 again. It's possible, but still not. Um, Baywatch. The Greatest Showman. What else? Uh, Daddy Grandpa. I don't uh, know. Well, I mean, that's... It's possible I've seen him in that, but... Hairspray? Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, I've seen Hairspray. Out of everything. <laughs> the Lorax. Ah! Oh, oh my god, he was... I think he played oh. um, the black-haired kid, didn't he? He also... Um, he just did one recently. Uh, it was to do with... Oh, what's it called? God damn it. He, he plays like a serial killer. Oh, uh, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure... Zac Efron, shooting. the serial killer. <laughs> I'm pretty shooting. Oh my god, what is this damn film? Zach Efron, care that The Murder Files. <laughs> I don't care that you had 34 wins. Good on you, bud. But like... Um... Alright, Jada, I'm sorry. I retract my fucks given. You don't need to keep looking him up. <laughs> this is gonna drive me nuts. What is the damn... Did he not? Maybe he didn't. I thought he... Mm. Whatever. You don't care. Yeah, no. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, poor- he has a brother named Dylan. Oh, you poor thing. Oof. Oh, Bad Neighbours, that's the other one. Oh. He's been in a lot of stuff you probably would have seen. Nope. You're just choosing that. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, so short, was No the... one in this life is unbroken. Oh well, yeah, but like, there are less broken people. Oh, my point stands. Did you search up Zane and Heath? No. What? Zane and Heath. Zane and Heath Unfiltered. It's a great podcast. I was yeah, listening to them I this morning, actually. These guys are. They are Viners, or were Viners, I should say. Um, they now obviously have a podcast. Two uneducated Florida boys with strong opinions and nothing yep. to back it. Yes, yeah, sounds very credible, Jada. <laughs> I didn't say they were credible. I just said that they were good. Uh, they're like, from they're friends Florida. With... They definitely have issues. I mean, they're friends with Josh Peck. Drinking um, Swamp have... Water is probably the second one. I was going to say, it probably doesn't help no. that they're friends with Tanner Mojo. But oh like... my god, of course. <laughs> they're friends with the fucking founder of Tanacon. Honestly, though, I do like her content. I will say that. Okay. I haven't seen any of it to comment on, but... It's very, no, it's okay. um... I don't need you to explain. <laughs> <laughs> just polar opposite of me. We'll just say the that. The polar opposite of you. If I click on a video and the first thing I see is tits, I'm going to be very upset because, oh, yeah. for God's sake. Welcome to Tana. Tana. Tana Mojo. Yeah. Her tongue. Wait, fuck off. Is that MK? Oh huh? no, it's Logan Paul. It's Jake Paul, same thing. I mean, Jake Paul was her husband, but fair. What do you mean, was? Well, it was fake. Oh. Yeah. I think this is the one that does... Does she do makeup reviews? No. <laughs> no. Is no. Tana cancelled? Yes. Yeah. She, she runs a podcast called Cancelled, that would be why. Which is why I didn't mention her, because I knew you would be like, well, she's a bad one. And I'm like, I know. Yeah, she is. <laughs> uh, she dated Bella Thorne for a long time. I don't know who that is. Oh my god, get educated. Get educated. Get good, <laughs> says you. What the fuck? Bella Thorne was on, like, Disney Channel. She's a singer. Sounds like loser shit. 
She um her she dated Modson for a while. Belthorn's married to someone else. Um You see, you're you're saying it like she's as popular as Loser Fruit or something, man. Like Who? <laughs> ah, of course you don't know who Loser Fruit is. I mean so uh, Do I know? It's an Aussie YouTuber. Yeah. Plays Fortnite though, so I, I see that. She kinda yeah. she kinda loses out because she she plays Fortnite. Yeah. She's a gaming athlete. Wow. Yeah, that's a thing. And a full guy <laughs> full guy's tournament winner. Wow. Ah, she was born in ninety three. Ah, young child. <laughs> I do like her little, like, um, what's it called? <laughs> what? Sorry, I just thought of a quote. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you think of? <laughs> yeah, let me send it to you. <laughs> oh, boy. I was gonna say, I do like her little, like, caption for uh, Twitter, which is, fail my way to success. Fair. Uh... Uh, she's partnered with Gymshark, that makes more sense. That had to make a lot of sense, man. How do I message you? That no, that's share my screen. I, oh I'm my scared. God. How do just, I do this? <laughs> just send me a message on Messenger. I'm getting there. How are you so bad at this? I got it. Why did my dad? Oh, fucking. Eh. <laughs> 400 things just went off. There you go, I sent it to you. I'm like, turn sound off. I already see the caption and I don't want to open it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to open it. Open it, it's funny. And do it when we actually finish no, this podcast. Funny. Like the third time. It's funny! <sighs> I don't. What am I gonna. <laughs> Watch the thing. I'm opening the thing. I don't like this. It's gonna blow my drums out. Mm. <gasps> I love Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. <laughs> 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 See, that's that's all it was. For some reason, randomly, I just thought of that line of dick, and I was just like. <clears throat> Uh, I love Jennifer Aniston. She's great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's like my first. Oh, I'm, so I'm dying. What was that? Oh, <laughs> fair. That was like my first female crush. Was her? That's oh, fair. My, that's fair. Mine was yeah. Zoe Deschanel. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Oh yeah. Yeah, fits your type. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not broken. Surprising. Well, she probably is. Everyone's broken. I just made this point. Yeah, as I say, you're gonna contradict yourself then. No. Do you want? I saw her in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I need to see that. Yes. That's, you do. <laughs> oh fuck! I've actually got a girl coming over to watch that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> hey, shush! I'm cooking dinner, and then we're watching that movie, and I'm gonna get through the movie. Are you gonna burn the dinner? How dare you! I am a magnificent cook. <laughs> I have never seen you go into the kitchen in my life. I won a primary school my kitchen rules bullshit thing with Sam. My, Did you actually? Yeah. I, I made like a zucchini loaf thing. What was that? That is hilarious. What, what's that called? Zucchini slice. Bunch of other shit too. I love that that's a thing. Yeah, man. Sam came over, we practiced, then we went to school, and we won. How cute. It was really cute. Yeah, I've never seen you be in the kitchen in my entire life. Yeah, no, the closest I've been to the kitchen was you and... I have a video in my phone of you and Casey nerding out about making, um, uh, cookies. Yeah, because that was in my kitchen. And, and she was like, how do you make them so soft? And you were like, by adding a lot of butter. And she's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this very specific memory. <laughs> I've seen you once in the kitchen and I immediately backed out. <laughs> And that is where I learned to knock. 
kitchen no matter where I go. Wait, what was in the kitchen? You mean who? Ow. This was when um, I decided that we needed to clean your room. Oh. Um, and I had run out of trash bags, so I went, hey, bro, where are the... You know what? Never mind. I can find them myself later. It's fine. And I just backed out, kept talking, and like, no, 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 Because all I saw was, like, <laughs> I saw the back of you and, like, some legs poking out, and I'm like, mm. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was me being like... I can see why the socks are taking a long time to organize. I'm hey, back so sh- <laughs> I had rearranged the entire room, and you guys were still trying to like hey, be like, "Don't mm, you judge me." Let me organize the socks. We were good at hugs. No judgment. <laughs> Hug- <laughs> hugs, sure. Hey, shush. <laughs> uh, yeah, Damn. that's why. Like from Damn. now on, anytime I go anywhere, I literally knock and like enunciate what's happening. I literally knock and I'm like, is it clear to come in? Yes. Can I come in? It's okay. You won't have to do that for a while. I did that here. I was like, can I come in? You're like, no, Vader, it's your house. And I'm like, I know it's my house. Can I still come making in? Making out with the shampoo bottle. <laughs> oh my God. Why a shampoo bottle? I don't know. Cause I don't currently have a partner. <laughs> and if Why I was were- counting them as a partner, I'd have like 20. I like how you went from pillow to shampoo bottle. <laughs> Just like, okay. Anyway. <laughs> yes, let's finish this po- podcast. Thank you. I've been trying for like a half an hour. I've been just trying you... to get it up to two hours. Why? <laughs> We're at 154. Why do you want it to be two hours? it's a nice round number. Why do you want me to... To edit. True. Well, aren't you just gonna cut it after we tried to do it the first time? Well, this is why I changed from my editing style, which was adding in a GIF or GIF every like 30 seconds, because the videos were getting too long oh, yeah. and my will to live was getting shorter, so. Fair enough. I really couldn't be bothered to do them every. Yeah, and fucking split it in two if you need to. Random shit with my brother. Well, no, I just assumed that would be another podcast where we talk more shit. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, because I have he's written out to do, do, so. Whoa, <laughs> I have. <what> the fuck? <laughs> this whiteboard has had so much stuff on right, here. Fuck it. That we'll I've do been... one next week then. Literally, I have heaps for different people. What day I have it next out. week. Oh my god. I have one where it's like, is Disney toxic to kids? I'm only half kidding. <laughs> And then I have one. I'm not kidding. Um, oh, this one I just need you to come over with because. No, that's fine. Which um, one is it? It's where you and Aaron roast some old videos. Oh God, yes, please. <laughs> um, in particular, the one with me and my ex. <laughs> oh God, what are you doing on the 18th? <laughs> on the 18th. I'm ser- I'm looking at my calendar right now. What you doing <laughs> next Tuesday? Um. I don't know, contemplating life decisions. Like, what do you mean? Uh, what am I doing? the calendar, I'm telling Aaron. <laughs> no, don't. You like, I don't know. Aaron Ross doesn't come out yet. Oh, what? Wait, what? That's in less We're than complicated. A week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was supposed to have a shift yesterday. You know, today and tomorrow, and they cancelled both of them, so you know. That's a rip. Yeah. Although it helps because I don't have a car at the moment. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I miss having a car. <laughs> I miss having, not having to be like, hey mom, hey dad, can one of you take me to work, please? <laughs> I'm like, please. And also, please don't get mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> Just take me to work. Because <laughs> that's eventful. Uh, I, <laughs> I just saw my, this week's roster, I'm like, eh. mm-hmm. well, why have you done this? Oh, ew. Anyway. <laughs> you mean, not you? Because... Uh, from one to four, I'm in the deli, and then four to six, I'm in the meat room, and I'm like, yep. ew. Ew. And then I have my friend's party. I gotta get her a gift. Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot you get gifts for people. Ah! That's fine. I'll figure out something. I can go to the city tomorrow, what you need? <laughs> I mean, so could I, but like, you know. <laughs> nah, I, just, I don't know what to get her, so. Ah. <laughs> I've known her for like 
literally almost my whole life, but I haven't seen her in so long, so I'm like, what the fuck are you into? <laughs> I'm just like, uh... uh. I don't see her that often because she's busy living her life and being with her boyfriend and being cute and me. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out. If not, I'll just give her money because that's my plan B for everything. Hey. Hey, indeed. I, excellent. Yes. Now that yes, we're cool. at fucking 157, oh 58. God. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> to the podcast and repeating this shit. Because. <laughs> That's okay. Yes. I don't know. I guess. Good. Yeah. I guess you'll catch him next month. <laughs> because I just assume once a month we'll do a podcast and then it will go up. And then it'll be great. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, as long as this doesn't stuff up. We'll see how we go. Stuff up? Yeah. What do you mean? When there's a will, there's a way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>